hub of Asia. Korea is on the move as it reaches beyond Asia to the world. Boasting a rich cultural heritage and stunning natural environment, Korea has grown into a globally competitive nation in the 21st century on the back of its 5,000 year history and traditions. With a strong tech sector, a thriving biotech industry, and varied cultural content offerings that are immensely popular in foreign countries, Korean firms never rest as they aim to build the world's best products. The world is taking notice of products made in Korea. World-renowned brands become the face of a country and shape the nation's image. The approximately 700 world-class products made in Korea have garnered attention in global markets due to their stylish designs and state-of-the-art technology. The superior electronic products made by leading Korean conglomerates have helped enhance Korea's image abroad as a tech powerhouse. Home appliances and cell phones manufactured by Samsung and LG Electronics are popular among consumers in many foreign markets. Another example is Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering's LNG RV vessel, the world's first ship installed with regasification equipment. POSCO developed revolutionary Finex technology to efficiently produce steel and do away with the old blast furnace used in steelmaking for 100 years. Then there are Doosan Heavy Industries seawater desalination plants that are crucial for conserving resources and protecting the environment. Human-oriented technology that goes beyond the traditional boundaries of technological breakthroughs by focusing on humans and the environment first. These technologies will create superior products to make the future a brighter place. In the early 1990s, Hyundai Heavy Industries delivered the world's first post-Panamax container ship. Since then, Hyundai Heavy successfully built 5,000 to 8,000 TEU container ships, leading the industry into a new era of huge container ships. The vision of Hyundai Heavy Industries began in a small fishing village in 1972. With a pioneering spirit and zeal for creativity, Hyundai Heavy entered the shipbuilding industry and today is the world's largest shipbuilder, having produced more ships than any other builder. As a result of the company's success, Korea zoomed ahead to clinch the top rank among shipbuilding nations. Hyundai Heavy has the most ship orders in the world, with 160 vessels on order. 30 of them are container ships of 10,000 TEU or larger in size. As the company leads the trend toward making ever larger container ships, Hyundai Heavy was able to reach its current position through top-class research and years of accumulated know-how. We have a better design, we have a better facility to produce them, and we have also the better research and development centers, and also we have very well-trained workers. All those factors combined, we think we can make better ships and then serve our clients to their full satisfaction. With superior ship hull designs and technology, Hyundai Heavy also focuses on getting the little things done right by checking every detail, 
down to the last bolt welded to the ship. In 2004, Hyundai Heavy developed the world's first on-ground build method that allowed it to expand production capacity. Through this method, ships are built on land instead of a dry dock and when completed, launched out to sea via a sea dock. As the number one shipbuilder, Hyundai Heavy's container ships are exported to China and many European nations. The company has built 1,500 vessels for 233 shipping companies from 45 countries so far. In recognition of Hyundai Heavy's efforts, three of Hyundai Heavy's vessels have been chosen as the world's best ships of 2008 by three major shipbuilding and marine industry magazines. A container ship ordered by China's Costco Container Lines in 2005 was delivered on time in 2007, and its deck was as large as three soccer fields put together. Hyundai Heavy's container ships are renowned abroad because not only are they the world's best, but they're also bigger and feature the latest in shipbuilding technologies. HHI is the global leader, a huge shipyard in uh, container vessel building business over 11 years. And this is what makes this shipyard with elevated experience. Uh, this shipyard have a highly professional staff, highly skilled staff and uh, well-educated staff that capable of doing such a thing. Hyundai Heavy Industries builds massive container ships. Like its vessels, which plow ahead into the open seas, Hyundai will also forge a path toward becoming a global leader in world markets. Doosan Heavy Industries and Construction is the global leader in the seawater desalination business, where plants remove salt from seawater to provide fresh water. Founded in 1962, Doosan Heavy is one of Korea's leading conglomerates and started out in the iron casting business to supply basic materials to a wide range of industries. Today, the company builds desalination plants, nuclear power plants, and coal-fired power plants domestically and abroad. In the mid-1990s, Doosan Heavy secured key technology for building seawater desalination plants. In 2005, Doosan Heavy acquired an American desalination company and boosted its share of the global market to more than 40 percent. 저희 두산 중공업이 가지고 있는 가장 큰 경쟁력 우위는 기술적인 우위라고 생각을 합니다. 해수 담수화 기술에는 크게 증발식과 역삼투압 방식이 있습니다. 저희 두산 중공업은 이두 가지 기술에 대해서 모두 독자적인 기술을 보유하고 있습니다. 뿐만 아니라 이두 가지 기술이 경제적으로 혼합된 하이브리드 방식에 대한 그 기술력도 확보를 하고 있습니다. Doosan Heavy uses semi-permeable membrane and osmotic pressure technology to remove salt from seawater to make drinkable fresh water. To date, Doosan Heavy has completed construction of 19 seawater desalination plant projects and currently has four plants under construction. Once these plants are completed and begin operating, they will supply drinkable water to more than 15 million people. According to a UN report, three billion people around the world will face water shortages by 2025. 
Doosan Heavy is doing what it can to address the looming water shortage crisis. Currently, several seawater desalination plants built by Doosan Heavy are operating in the Middle East in countries like Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and Dubai. Annual sales in Doosan's desalination business record an average of $3 billion. In order to maintain a technological edge in the industry, Doosan Heavy has R&D centers in Dubai and Tampa, USA. Along with the Shuwake desalination plant in Kuwait, which produces 227,000 tons of fresh water a day, Doosan Heavy also built the three-stage Shoaiba desalination plant in Saudi Arabia, which produces the most fresh water from a single plant in the world, at a record-setting daily average of 880,000 tons of water. The desalination plant built in Fujairah, UAE, is the world's first hybrid plant made by Doosan Heavy, combining MSF and RO desalination methods. As a result of these projects, a steady supply of drinkable water for the population and water for irrigating farms is now available in the Middle East. By 2025, an estimated $80 billion worth of desalination plant projects will be ordered by Middle Eastern countries. Solving water shortages around the world. From building desalination plants to recycling wastewater, Doosan Heavy is the global leader in the desalination industry and has a bright future ahead as it makes continuous efforts to supply freshwater resources. Since 2000, more and more small Korean businesses have looked outwards to foreign markets. While Korean conglomerates compete in global markets with their leading technologies and sheer size, small Korean firms depend on new ideas, passion, and unyielding efforts to find success. Small firms produce electronic parts, auto parts, DMB chips, advanced medical devices, electronic gadgets, and other innovative products for a wide swath of the market. These are loved by consumers around the world. A government agency also reviews products made by small firms and added 56 products made by these firms to its list of world-class products at the end of 2008. There are 600 world-class products from Korea that are either in the top five in the industry or have the potential to enter the top rankings within a three-year period. The role of government policy cannot be discounted in the success that small Korean firms have found in their push toward foreign markets. The passion and perspiration of employees at small Korean firms their hidden potential and diverse technologies, along with strong government policies supporting small business. These firms have wider possibilities to create more world-class products. ID Tech is a global security company. As a leading mid-sized firm, ID Tech is widely recognized abroad for its industry-leading integrated security solutions. 
iDetect security system embedded with fingerprint identification technology was chosen as a world-class product in 2007 by the Korean government. Jeffrey Immel, CEO of GE, referred to the security business as a growing sector in the 21st century. Now iDetect will lead the security business in the 21st century. iDetect succeeded in making an advanced entry security system in 1999 by using domestic technology. With its successful market entry into developed countries, as well as the South American market, where there are no nationwide electrical standards, iDetect now exports 80% of its production to 150 countries. More than anything else, iDetect holds a huge lead over competitors in biometric security systems. 예, 저희는 RFID 기술부터 시작해서 각종 생체 인식 기술을 보유하고 있습니다. 그 중에서 이제 지문 인식 알고리즘하고 얼굴 인식 알고리즘을 보유하고 있고요. 얼굴 인식 알고리즘 같은 경우는 저희가 이제 자체적으로 개발을 해서 그 알고리즘 자체를 다 보유하고 있습니다. IDTech manufactures entry cards that use RFID technology and possesses core biometrics technology that supports facial and fingerprint recognition. These technologies underlie IDTech's award-winning world-class products and are standout technologies. Not only does IT Tech develop products, but it also supplies a wide product range and integrated security system solutions for small and big organizations. ID Tech has a diversification product strategy that has led it to develop operating programs for integrated security systems that can link with parking management systems, surveillance cameras, intelligent building systems, and more. ID Tech is the first time to use the brand of the brand to use 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 각종 도움말과 설정 마법사를 포함한 소프트웨어를 제공하여 보안 시장을 선도해 나가고 있습니다. 그리고 무엇보다 전 세계 약 70여 개국에 포진된 200여 개의 대리점을 통한 실시간 서포트와 온라인 교육 프로그램을 통해 소비자의 필요에 24시간 발빠르게 대응하고 있는 것이 아이디테크만의 자랑입니다. Going forward, IDTech will soon release a product that features facial and fingerprint recognition as well as RFID support. It will be the first product of its kind and will be based on IP technology. Another product that IT Tech is developing is a long distance reader that will enable logistics management and fleet management within an integrated security solution. ID Tech has posted steady growth in overseas sales. With strong growth in its core business, ID Tech is forecasting its export sales to rise to $20 million in 2009. ID Tech is expanding at a steady pace in the advanced security system sector, and a bright future lies ahead for it. As a leading Korean tech company, ID Tech dreams of creating a secure world for everyone. COCOM has been building home network systems for more than 30 years. In the 1970s, COCOM developed its first interphone to enter the home network market. Today, it is the domestic industry leader. Helping build a ubiquitous world, COCOM's home networks are high-quality residential automated systems that not only make homes safer, but also create a pleasant living space. With the touch of a button, indoor heating and gas valves can be turned on and off remotely. 
It is a futuristic system that raises the quality of life. 정부 통신부는 세계 홈 네트워크 시장이 2002년 407억 달러에서 2007년에는 1026억 달러, 2010년에는 1620억 달러 규모로 연평균 19%의 고속 성장을 할 것으로 전망하고 있습니다. 국내의 홈 네트워크 시장 또한 앞서 말씀드린 바와 같이 전망 있는 사업이기에 대기업에서도 적극적으로 시장 진출을 추진하고 있습니다. Keeping up with current trends in domestic and foreign markets, COCOM has developed various types of home network systems at its research lab. With 30 years of know-how and accumulated technology, COCOM develops, manufactures, and installs home network products under a one-stop service. In relation to its home network systems, COCOM also possesses diverse technologies such as MPEG-4-based image processing technology, wall pad technology, and home gateway technology. These technologies underlie COCOM's world-class products. COCOM is also recognized for its sleek product design and also won the Pinup Design Award for Excellence in Commercial Product Design. COCOM's products are popular among consumers because they are tailored to meet consumer preferences with trendy features. 최근 소비자의 트렌드는 어, 사용성, 그러니까 소비자가 실제 제품을 동작을 하고 조작을 하는 데 있어서 어, 편리함을 최우선으로 하고 있습니다. 그래서 소비자가 욕구로 하는 그런 어떤 스타일링과 어떤 조작성에 최우선을 두고 그리고 제품을 디자인하고 있습니다. One mixed-use building in Seoul was equipped with a home network system that features an array of the latest COCOM technologies. When COCOM develops a product, it thinks about how to offer the best security for homes. With overseas sales surpassing $15 million, COCOM exports to 70 countries, including the US, China, and Japan. COCOM continues to grow as a company, with R&D investments, talented employees, and a customer-oriented philosophy. COCOM is preparing to take a leadership role in the future. COCOM dreams of becoming a household brand in the global home network system market. With a focus on opening a ubiquitous world for all, COCOM is ready to spread its wings as a strong global brand. Creating world-class products requires special effort with special expertise. Testing the limits and making a strong effort. Leading technologies that underlie the passion to succeed. All of this must come together. Made in Korea. At the core of Korea, you'll find people striving to be the best. Korean content is just as notable as Korea's high-tech exports. Cultural content reflects Korean sentiments and ideas during the creative process. The Korean wave has played a pivotal role in enhancing the image of Korea in the world. Riding the crest of the Korean wave, many cultural content exports have been able to show the beautiful culture of Korea to more people around the world. 
These days, many Korean designs and ideas are given a modern spin to create appealing products and content. Now, Korean content firms are fascinating foreigners with their content offerings. October 2006. A fashion show that presented peculiar designs was held in Paris, France. The dresses the models wore as they strutted down the runway were printed with brush strokes of Korean letters with a surreal slant. Lee Sang Bong is the Korean fashion designer who boldly presented these styles in Paris, the center of fashion. Many people ああ、クリーミーな、あにめなディザイン的な、チンメンルを見せてこ、クリーミーな、あにめなディザイン的な、チンメンルを見せてこ、クリーミーな、あにめなディザイン的な、チンメンルを見せてこ、クリーミーな
Korean home appliances differentiate themselves from products made by other makers by presenting styles uniquely Korean in character. Meanwhile, products bound for foreign markets have styles that reflect local and regional characteristics. 인쇄계가 구별하는 기술 동향 하에 하체계가 한 시장이 되었습니다. 그래서 이런 우리가 진출하기 위해서는 글로벌라이제이션이 굉장히 중요하다고 하겠습니다. 그렇지만 글로벌라이제이션을 내기 위해서는 보편적인 그런 그 수요 소비자의 욕구 이런 부분도 충족을 해야 되겠지만 또 현지에서의 독특한 그런 문화도 어 우리가 같이 적응을 해나가야 하는 게 상당히 중요하다고 생각하고요. 그렇기 때문에 처음 단계부터 그런 현지화 전략도 같이 병행해서 수립해야 되지 않을까 그렇게 생각합니다. There is one industry where localization and global strategies are mapped out early on during the planning stage of the product. It's the online gaming industry. The Korean game industry is growing at a rapid pace, posting average annual growth of 20%. In the cultural content industry, the gaming business is a high margin business that has more room to grow in terms of overall market expansion potential. Online games are acclaimed as the new growth engines for Korea's economy, and they're the crown jewels in the domestic cultural content industry. Korean developed games have distinct Korean ideas and gameplay styles that have been well received by foreign gamers. Korea's online gaming culture has a deep community and infrastructure not found anywhere else in the world. Even today, the Korean market is recognized as a crucial testbed for new online game releases. But the heady growth of online games is not limited to the domestic market. They also have a huge following in foreign countries as a powerful force in the content industry. Exports of Korean games have grown every year and comprise half of all export sales of domestic content. Boasting a blockbuster lineup of online games that have become hits in foreign markets such as North America and Europe, NCSoft is a maverick game developer and distributor in Korea, having now grown into a global firm. With the release of the company's signature online game, Lineage, in 1999, NCSoft came out with Lineage 2 in 2003 and set the bar for 3D environments in online games. Lineage 3 will feature a storyline about time warping. This has drawn high expectations from gamers all over the world. NCSoft uses a localization strategy for its overseas marketing efforts. The company realized early on that there is a cultural gap between Western and Asian gamers and that it could be detrimental to game title sales. So executing the localization process properly is important to the company. Guild Wars, another NCSoft game title, was chosen as the top PC game of 2005 by the largest North American online retailer. Exporting games to 60 countries, Nexon is one of the top game companies in Korea and continues to prove that Korea is a force to be reckoned with in online games. Kart Rider is played by 17 million Koreans. That's one-third of the entire Korean population. This addictive online racing game has also single-handedly created a Korean wave in China's gaming market where it attracted 170 million users.
일단 해외 시장에서 게임이 성공을 하는 데 있어서는 가장 기반이 되어야 되는 게 탄탄한 게임성이라고 볼수 있습니다. 게임에 있어서 기술력이나 어떤 그래픽적인 친근함 뿐 아니라 게임의 재미가 가장 큰 중요한 부분이 되고요. 또 게임이란 것은 문화 콘텐츠의 하나로서 진출하게 되는 것이기 때문에 그 현지 시장 유저의 특성이라든지 문화적인 성향에 맞춰서 현지화하는 것도 굉장히 중요한 부분입니다. The key point of Nexon strategy is to develop games that can be enjoyed by all age groups. With a portfolio of games that follow the company's philosophy of keeping things simple, Nexon is focused on providing more games for users to enjoy. Since the company was founded in 1999, Nexon has doubled its revenues every year and reached revenues of $300 million in the fiscal year of 2007, recording the top profit margins among all online game developers that year. Among the 100 or so games created by Korean developers each year, about 10 are exported. So, if you do the math, 500 million gamers in 100 countries have played a Korean online game once or more. The gaming business is based on great ideas and requires a lot of creativity. So it is projected to become one of the leading sectors in Korea's knowledge-based economy, along with semiconductors and cell phones. We hope to see Korean online games raise awareness of Korean culture as they promote the country. The 21st century is called the century of culture. Based on local culture, content is a marketable product and the new star in this flourishing era of culture. In the domestic theatrical performance scene, ticket sales have slumped and fewer theater productions have been made. So production companies have turned their attention to foreign markets. Period musicals based on Korean historical events with dazzling performances and Korean styles have received an overwhelming response in foreign venues. The popularity of b-boy themed productions began with the ballerina who fell in love with a b-boy musical, which was later performed in New York. It was critically acclaimed by foreign critics. A new genre of musicals that incorporate dancing started a new wave in the theater industry. This has driven more experimentation. As a non-verbal performance with strong Korean characteristics, Nanta leapt onto the world stage on the back of its widely acclaimed performance at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival in Scotland. Between the years 1997 and 2007, Nanta pulled in $75 million in ticket sales and drew a combined audience of 4.2 million people. Uh, 한국적인 게 세계적이라는 그 모토를 가지고 한국적인 것들을 극 초반에 많이 등장을 합니다. 삼고무라는 게 있습니다. 삼고무라는 게 한국적인 전통적인 악기이기 때문에 아, 그런 부분들이 가미가 되고 후반부에 사물놀이를 이용한 리듬을 아주 극대화시키는 그런 북과 이런 요소 요소에 아, 한국적인 부분들이 많이 등장을 하고 있습니다. In the Nanta musical, kitchen knives and chopping boards are used to make rhythmical music. The ensuing powerful performance can be enjoyed by people of all ages. The musical mainly consists of rhythmical music and scenes without any dialogue, so there is no language barrier to be faced by foreign audiences.
The musical also brought recognition to the unique rhythms of Samul Nori, giving this traditional music genre a springboard into the global market. After Nanta opened on Broadway and elsewhere in the world, it continued to draw large audiences and became one of the best-known cultural exports from Korea. Well, uh, I haven't heard of them, but some of my friends told me that they have seen them in, in Europe, maybe. And I heard they, they are going to Broadway, right? Am I right? I think it's a great group, it's a great show. They, they, they do a great performance for us tonight. As Nanta's popularity grew, a theater in New York's Off-Broadway was set up to show only Nanta performances. The show continued for 18 months after starting in 2004. Nanta attracted a total of 100,000 people during its Broadway run and boasted $5.9 million in ticket sales. As a fictional adaptation of a historical event, The Last Empress was another Korean musical that garnered a lot of attention on the world stage. The Last Empress is based on the life of Empress Myeongsong, whose life ended tragically. It was produced to commemorate the 100th year from the day she died. 시작을 할때 국내에서뿐 아니라 해외에서도 호평받는 작품을 만들기 위해서 한국적인 소재가 물씬 풍기는 그런 의상이나 무대나 이런 것들을 소재로 해서 97년도에 뉴욕 링커 센터에서 이제 초연을 하게 됩니다. 그 뉴욕 타임즈를 비롯해서 굉장한 언론으로부터 호평을 받았고 그게 이제 소문이 나다 보니까 수년간 그 해외 공연을 통해서 브랜드 가치를 높이고 결국에는 흑자로 돌리고 어 이런 성과까지 지금 맺어져 있던 것 같습니다. The glittering success of The Last Empress is notable in that the musical prominently features Korean culture throughout the show. 600 elaborate costumes were prepared for the musical, and there is also a martial arts scene featuring a dynamic military dance once performed by soldiers of the Joseon dynasty. Based on a historical novel, The Last Emperor stirs patriotic feelings among audiences, and its story has raised awareness of Korean culture. The success of Korean musical performances in overseas markets is a bright spot in Korea's cultural content industry. Much effort is being made to raise Korea's profile on the world stage. The people behind this creative push strive for a new level of success. Korean cultural exports are spreading across the world. So Korea's culinary culture, which is inextricably linked to Korean customs and way of life, has also gone along with this outward-looking trend. With Korean dishes now adapted to local tastes and Korea's culinary culture locally promoted, Traditional Korean cuisine is now showing up on the dinner tables of more foreigners. Most of the ingredients in Korean food are vegetables. Most are made into fermented dishes. 
these types of foods are popular amid a growing global trend of healthy eating. Bibimbap is a favorite Korean food among foreigners because it contains many ingredients mixed together. Suncheon, South Jola Province. This is a famous town where red pepper paste, a traditional Korean sauce added to bibimbap, is made. In villages, people ferment red pepper paste in jars and lovingly tend to them. Suncheon has a special climate that makes it suitable for producing red pepper paste. With many days of foggy weather throughout the year, this helps the fermenting process. Under these ideal climate conditions, soybean malt, glutinous rice, red pepper powder, and other ingredients are mixed together by hand and then fermented for 10 months to make traditional red pepper paste. Chung Jung Won is the largest producer of red pepper paste in Korea and has been marketing it overseas. With its large food processing facilities, Chung Jung Won carefully selects premium red peppers grown in Suncheon to make quality red pepper paste. But it still uses traditional fermenting methods to make red pepper paste containing pure and all-natural soybean malt. The red pepper paste products produced at this single factory in Suncheon generate annual revenues exceeding $250 million. Chung Jung Won is creating new recipes and packaging with a local flavor for overseas markets to make red pepper paste more appealing to Americans, Japanese, and others. Gochujang is very important to the taste of the taste. Especially for the taste of the taste, you like the taste of the taste, you like the taste of the taste, you like the taste of the taste, there are many different things. 그 고추장의 매운 맛은 제일 중요한 게 원료에 있습니다. 고추에 있어서 매운 고추, 덜 매운 고추 여러 종류가 있는데 저희들은 원료 구입에서부터 철저히 매운 맛을 분석해 가지고 거기에 맞는 고추장을 생산하고 있습니다. The company has analyzed the spiciness of chili peppers from around the world. To adjust the traditional sauce recipe for foreign markets, Chung Jung Won continues to research and grade chili peppers to strike the right balance of hotness and taste, one that will appeal to consumers around the world. The food industry is an example of where players have to resort to a blue ocean strategy. The size of the global packaged food market is over $3 trillion and forecast to expand to $6.35 trillion by 2020. Chung Jung Won will stay on course to develop new red pepper pastes and preserve the authentic taste of the original Korean sauce. Products imbued with a uniquely Korean character, which take into account the latest market trends, will lead the next wave of success. As Korean products make inroads into foreign markets, there may be a day when the Korean culture reflected in those products is naturally accepted by foreign consumers.